Morning. It's another cloudy, warm day here in eastern North Carolina. Temperature is about 63 today. Um, should be an exciting day, I hope. The greenhouse is finally getting delivered. So, fingers crossed, everything goes well, and I'll show you that uh, in a second. Okay, so the delivery went well. Uh, everything was packed. I didn't, uh, I was so excited about getting the delivery. I did not film anything, I'm sorry. Let me show you some of the stuff that I got. All right, here is the greenhouse door. And behind it, I have some of the glass panels for the walls. Here we have nuts, bolts, glues, packing slips, instruction manual. This instruction manual is actually pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. It's large. I will be reading over it step by step. And hopefully uh, this will go all together pretty quickly and easily. These are the remnants of the crates that the parts came in. And I'll be going through these and seeing what, what I can salvage and uh, hopefully use in other projects. Maybe I can use some of this wood to uh, build some uh, tables for inside the uh, greenhouse there. And over here, next to where the greenhouse is going to be built, are all the frame pieces. So they all come bundled together as looks like groups. And... I'm just going to have to go through, figure out what's what, and then we'll start assembling here in the near future. So I did have a helper to help me unload all this, Mr. Pat, we'll call him. <laughs> Pat, you know who you are, thank you very much again for the help. My wife also came out, she gave us a hand. There are a lot of little parts. The uh, BC Greenhouses is where I purchased the greenhouse from. They shipped me everything, all the bolts, nuts, screws, caulk, glaze. They shipped it all. Uh, looks like everything is here, so I'll just be going through over the next like few days, like I said, uh, reviewing the instructions, figuring out what's what, uh, figuring out all the different parts, so that when it comes time to assemble, again, this goes together pretty quickly and smoothly. Cross my fingers and toes. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna uh, just disassemble those uh, boxes, those pallets. I'll prop, you know, maybe I can make a few benches to go inside the greenhouse. The greenhouse is uh, 8 feet 7 inches, I believe, wide by 12 feet 7 inches uh, long. That should give me plenty of room to do pretty much everything I want. If you've watched other channels where they maybe get a greenhouse, you know, they always say try to buy the biggest greenhouse you can or bigger than what you think you need in a perfect world and unlimited budgets. <laughs> I would probably have a 12 foot wide greenhouse that's uh, you know 16 feet long but again you have to work within budgets and I think I've maximized the scale the size of greenhouse that I think I need or hopefully I will be able to use uh, in the upcoming years I'll be doing seed starting in the greenhouse I maybe even some seed starting this year we'll have to see how things go again I'm in eastern North Carolina growing zone 8a we do tend to heat up pretty quickly in the uh, springtime, so the time that I will be able to have plants seedlings in the greenhouse before it starts getting too warm is narrower, narrow, narrower, narrower, smaller. <laughs> so, uh, for instance, if the greenhouse was already built, I would already have things in the greenhouse growing things from seedlings for the next two to three months, and then everything would be wonderful. But again, since the greenhouse may not get done till the end of March question mark don't know we'll have to see how things go maybe sooner so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe click that bell icon to be reminded this way you can you know, follow along as i build this greenhouse uh, but again hopefully i have it done before the end of march and then i could again have some start some seeds and then hopefully uh, they'll be out of the greenhouse by probably um, may i don't think i'd want to put have keep anything in the greenhouse past may down here because by then the temperatures really start getting to about I'd say 75 degrees or so on average, um, maybe even some days as high as 80. But if it's that warm outside, then inside the greenhouse is gonna be easily uh, closer to 100 if not over with the sun. So again, this is all gonna be a learning experience for me. I will be um, taking you along for the ride. Again, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, but you can follow along and uh, I will try to, uh, again, 
to show you everything that I'm doing here. I'm building a garden here in Growing Zone 8A. Greenhouse is the latest project. It's something that uh, I've always wanted to do to, again, I can start seeds outside instead of the garage under grow, grow lamps. I can start seeds outside. I can, I, can, I can get more tropical plants that can stay out throughout most of the year. But then during the few months of winter that we have, I can put the tropical plants into the greenhouse to keep the frost off of them, keep the freeze off of them, and then, you know, again, put them back out in April, May, once the threat of frost has passed and, you know, everything is wonderful again. So, yeah, so that's going to be a wrap it up for today. Not a huge video, uh, going to be a small video, but greenhouse is here. Parts are everywhere. <laughs> I have instruction manuals to go through. And... I think that's going to wrap it up for today. If you don't follow me on Instagram, give a follow over on Instagram. I do. I will probably post up a lot uh, pictures there in between of me doing videos or whatever. And that's going to be a wrap it up for today. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>